Hello and welcome to CAD Chaos. I'm your host, Michael Smith, and today I'm going to be going over part configurations. I won't be covering too much in the assembly side, but what I will be covering is within the part, because it's a little less known that if you only have one part, you still can create multiple configurations within it without having multiple parts that you can then move um, and reconstrain mates and whatnot. So I'm going to show you that today. So what I have here set up is a simple lever connected to an air cylinder, which I pulled off of McMaster car. And this air cylinder has two solid bodies for the rod, one showing it retracted, the other ghosty one showing it extended. Now for me, this doesn't look, it doesn't look all that great. It is functional because I can suppress this mate and use my configuration here for max, which then remates onto the other body. But for me, this kind of looks a little tacky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the part now. And within this part, I'm going to set this up. So this internal cylinder rod here will actually extend and then retract based on whatever configuration. Because right now you don't only have the single configuration, which is great for simplicity, but we're going to get a little bit more fancy with this. So now I'm going to come up here to insert. I'm going to go down to features and delete body. I'm going to delete this body, click OK, and now I'm going to go up here to insert, I'm going to go right back to features, come down to move copy, and I want to use translate in this case, so I'm going to select this rod, and now I look at my triad, I want to move it 6 inches on the Z axis because that's my stroke, so 6, enter, click OK. Now in this case I want the default to be the retracted state, so I'm going to suppress this. Now I'm going to come over to configurations, right click, add configuration, I'm going to make this max, click OK. Now I'm going to just come over here back to the part and I'm going to unsuppress the move copy. Now I'm going to save this. Now moving back to my SolidWorks assembly here, yes I do. It's going to tell me there's something wrong. I'm going to come over here to the mate, so I'm just going to fix this real quick. Delete that. Unsuppress the mate that I had to suppress to make the last configuration. Now, for default, it's this is the original state I want. But for max, what I want to do is come over here, go to the part. Right click on this, and I'm going to go down to component properties which is going to appear on the other monitor. I'm going to bring it back, and then I'm going to select Max, click OK, and there you have it. So now that changes the configuration on the part, which extends the cylinder based on the move copy feature that we added to the part, and then when we, we now have it work much like you would have if this cylinder was an assembly and you created a, uh, a different distance mate between the top of your rod and the top of the cylinder to differentiate your stroke. So if you end up with a solid part as a cylinder and you want to actuate it as a cylinder, that's how you're going to do it. So thank you for watching. I will upload new videos, tutorials, and whatnot every week to bi-weekly. Subscribe, like, comment, let me know what you'd like to see, and I'll see you next week.